Hey guys, welcome to yet another interesting video based on data mining. So in today's video, we'll be seeing what is numerosity reduction. So in our previous video, we saw what was dimensionality reduction. So in numerosity reduction, we use certain mathematical models, certain mathematical formulas in order to reduce the data set to a particular level. So let's get started. So first of all, what is numerosity reduction? Numerosity reduction is nothing but it is reducing the data volume which you have originally by choosing smaller smaller alter forms for representations like uh, you have a big kind of data what you do you integrate and then you differentiate so that differentiation product or differentiation value which you obtain that's nothing but the smaller form so in numerosity reduction also you represent in that with the original data so that uh, you can fit it to the other input system very easily so uh, to begin with for numerosity reduction we have two different methods so first we have some parametric methods and we have some non-parametric methods so we'll move to the lhs that is we have the parametric method so parametric methods only store the data parameter and not the actual data and so it's like you just need to feed the uh, input parameters and not the actual data so like it would not be burdening your uh, entire process of data mining activity for reducing the data and so you have two kinds of techniques in this which goes hand in hand that is regression and log linear models so uh, in regression also you have two kinds of regression that is linear regression and multiple linear regression and so uh, it is used for approximation of the given data by fitting the data in a straight line like you calculate one particular line equation and then you try to fit your parameters and then you uh, plot some kind of uh, slope and all those things so like we have a random variable y which is called as a response variable and another random variable called as x which is called as the predictor variable and you have this equation that is y is equal to w x plus b where uh, w and b are the regression coefficients for this equation and so you can solve this uh, wb uh, by the method of uh, least squares now what least squares does is it minimizes the error between the actual line separating your data and the estimate of that line so it's like used for error detection and for used for error reduction which is there originally and so uh, we talk about the multiple linear regression which is an extension of the linear regression or it's based on linear regression which allows a response variable y to be modeled as a linear function of two or more predictor variables like uh, in this you have your predictor variable as y and your response variable is y so uh, like in multiple linear regression what you will have is y is equal to wx1 plus wx2 and so on like wxn and so it's like you can uh, input your parameters into a chain uh, to that response variable so that you get final outcome as a like a chain of different different dimensions and so you can just uh, reduce it to some particular level with small small values and then you have the log linear models which goes hand in hand with uh, regression and some log linear models are also used to approximate discrete multi-dimensional probability distributions and to show very good scalability uh, for up to like 10 or so dimensions like if you have a 10 or even more 15 or 20 dimensions then what you can do is you probably you can use log linear models to represent it so that it can reduce it to a particular level so that your data uh, can be actually uh, seen uh, like reduced in size so these are the uh, models for parametric models for numerosity reduction now we move on to the non-parametric models which are used for this so in this also we have three things so let's uh, focus on this rhs so we have basically histograms that we have already seen in the data cleaning which is used for uh, data cleaning purposes uh, for smoothing and all kind of things so it also uses the bins to approximate the data distributions and so it partitions into disjoint subsets or buckets you have bins basically in that and if each bucket represents uh, only one single attribute or one single frequency value pair then those buckets are uh, called as a singleton bucket since like uh, you have only one particular value in that and so uh, there are n number of partitioning rules which are applied to histograms while you plot in this so uh, you have four different rules for partitioning you have the equal width which is of uniform width also called as the equivid partitioning you have the equal frequency which uh, maintains a constant frequency throughout that histogram which is called as the equid depth as well as you have v optimal which is a histogram which is having with least variance in it and then you have max difference so max difference just uh, computes the difference between adjacent values and those difference is given by beta minus 1 where beta is a user specified number of buckets like uh, in that also we have seen like uh, 
solving the problem uh, we had n by d that is number of items divided by the depth so that gives your total number of buckets or bins for that particular uh, smoothing technique so that's nothing but beta uh, then you have the clustering technique so clustering is nothing but uh, just uh, segregating your uh, various various dimensions and then putting those input points which lie outside on the boundary and uh, along the boundary so you consider the data tuples as objects in that and you partition objects into group of different different clusters and then uh, you have the sampling technique which is the very most important thing uh, in numerosity reduction under non-parametric models so it allows large data sets to be represented by a much smaller random sample of the data like you have a very large data set what you do you just uh, segregate into different different small small uh, samples and then you try to process it further so you have uh, four different kinds of uh, sampling methods in this so you have the SRSWR that is the simple random sample without a reduction so it draws tuples basically of size s from your data set that is d and it does with a probability of 1 by n and this is without replacement whereas this is simple random sample with replacement so it's uh, it does the same operation but it replaces with sample here it's not with the sample or not with the replacement then you have clustering sample so what do you do in this you basically sample those particular input data then on that you apply some clustering methods some clustering algorithms agglomerative clustering and all those things then you have stratified sample so uh, in this what it considers it disjoints out particular data parts into small small objects which is called as stratum or strata and then it tries to fit into that particular uh, non-parametric model so well that goes all regarding the numerosity reduction in data mining for data reduction so hope you guys enjoyed this video found you got educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video